From the river to the sea, water, a necessity. Fresh desalinated water from the Mediterranean to refill the Sea of Galilee. All the extra water that they are producing, we will be able to bring it with the National Water Carrier System up north and into the Sea of Galilee, into the Kinneret. We are building, we've finished building one part of this tool, operational tool, which will allow us to do that, to manage the water better uh, and take the uh, surplus water that we produced there into different areas of the country, which up until now, we weren't able to bring it to these spots. When the floodgates open, the at-risk Sea of Galilee is replenished. This water is expensive, but climate change is making innovations like this essential. Israel is pushing to end its rainwater dependence. With this environment of climate changes, you don't know uh, what to expect next year and the year afterwards. We are standing now in the late January and with the very little rainfalls during this winter in Israel, arid winter basically, with no rainfall, and uh, we are no longer depending on rain basically for water supply because we know to manage the system uh, and take the, the, the extra water, the extra water produced uh, uh, artificially with desalination plants and bring it to fill the natural lake if needed. This hydro revolution is also very much welcomed by Israel's eastern neighbor, Jordan. The water network will double the amount of water available for sale. Israel's chain of desalination plants is boosting regional sustainability. The Sea of Galilee is Israel's main reservoir and is a central tourist destination. The sea feeds the Jordan River and flows into the Dead Sea. In the past decade, water levels have regularly dipped, causing alarm. With water exports to Jordan on the rise, the new refill system is a good tool. It can raise the Galilee's water level by half a meter each year. Sharing of water resources was key to Israel's peace treaty with Jordan in 1994. It is still central to regional stability.